Hey guys, this is Scarfarsen5 here. I got a really interesting case for you guys. This is a wallet case, but the back actually even doubles into a stand. This is probably one of the most unique things I have found on Amazon in my searches of phone cases. Now, even though I have this displayed on my iPhone SE, they do have this in other um, Apple phone configurations like the 6S, the 7. So I recommend that you check out the link in the description so you guys can take a look for yourself. But let's just go ahead and get right into this review. So first, let's just talk about the design and the build. The things I really look for typically in a case is if it has a good enough of protection, if the ports are easily accessible and all that. So first of all, just give you a quick tour around the sides. It definitely is. All the cutouts are nice and precise. Speaker grills, headphone jack, and the lightning connection is all very easy to plug in and plug out. The buttons are all covered. The mute switch is also very easily to access and switch on and off. There's no problem. And Actually, I really love the clickiness of the buttons. I don't think I've had another phone case that's done buttons as well as this. And additionally, it has a little bit of front protection with this uh, upraised lip. So that way, if you're on a surface, if you lay it on the face, then you don't have to worry about the screen getting all scratched up. Furthermore, if you take a look at actually the inside of the case, you can see kind of pockets of space uh, towards the edges, especially in the corners. So this is going to help you during drop protection to help protect that screen during the case of a fall. And then moving on to the back where all the interesting stuff happens. But first off, the cutout for the camera is very nicely lit out. There is no problems with lens flare or anything like that when I'm taking pictures. So that's definitely something very important. Sometimes case manufacturers do overlook this. So I'm glad that they took very careful detail to not mess up your photos. And there's a little magnetic uh, foldable partition, which is really reminiscent of the iPad smart cover, where it just kind of has the magnetic folds and you can fold it into this triangle to make it into a stand. So of course, unraveling that, it also reveals the slot to hold your card. So it can technically hold up to three cards, but I wouldn't really recommend that. I would usually just put in two just because it gets a little bit stuffy and more difficult to slide out once that's the case. So you can see you just need to put your thumb in the um, exposed cutout there to just push out each card. And towards the end of the case is a little bit of a slant so that it's able to pop out of the case. I do like this kind of slide out design. I previously did also have another wallet case, which I did review. The problem with I had with that case is that the plastic cover kind of slides out way too easily. With this, because it's held down by magnets, it's definitely much more secure. And then you have to really apply a little bit more force though. It's still relatively very easy to slide out the cards when you want it to. And for the most part, it's not going to expose any credit card numbers if your numbers were on the front and this works both well with plastic cards and also with metal cards as you can see with my chase sapphire preferred it is a metal card and then on the inside of this kind of leather magnetic flap it has a little nice soft touch feeling so you don't have to worry about it scratching up or anything the only downside or a potential weak spot that i can see for the setup is actually just the flap uh, where it connects to the actual case. That part isn't a hinge or anything. It's basically just held together by the semi, I guess, I'm pretty sure it's faux leather um, fabric. So I'm pretty sure once you keep on opening it and closing it, that is going to be the weakest point in this whole case. So what I would have liked to have seen is just maybe a little metal rod insert to be a makeshift hinge. That way the metal portion is the one that's pivoting and not just the actual fabric. But boy, do I really love this kickstand feature. It's really handy, especially when I just want to watch a quick little video on my phone. I just flip it up. I think this works a whole lot better than those little tack-on ring things that's pretty popular these days. I like that it's just, you know, built in. There's, it is pretty much only a single angle, even though I guess on the product page it shows that it can hold up multiple angles. But really, it, it can't. The metal... The magnets aren't really that strong enough to hold up at different angles. So I would just recommend just folding up into a triangle like I'm showing you right now to view footage. Now speaking of the magnets, even though it's not strong enough to hold in all these different kind of angles, unfortunately it is strong enough to wipe out the magnetic strip on your cards. Before buying this, I did see some mixed reviews. Some say this works great. Some people said it really did wipe out their cards. So I wanted to see for myself if this would really do this. And unfortunately it actually did. 
So I obviously don't recommend you putting in any cards that you use the magnetic strip on it extensively. So a lot of cards these days do use the chip and pin uh, technology anyway, so you rarely probably use this. Of course, there are certain like store cards or something that only uses the magnetic strip, so I definitely don't really recommend putting it in there. Though I did find that if you put it as the bottom card, the magnet is less likely to really... Um, be affecting it if you really wanted to take that risk. I know there are some people who have certain cards like membership cards, it's much more handy to just put it in your phone as opposed to leaving it in your wallet. Of course, if you just put maybe your license in there that has nothing to do with, you know, magnets, then that's that's a card option that you might want to consider putting in this wallet case. So I think that's the biggest uh, note to take into account. I still really love this case. It's just, unfortunately, the magnets does have that other downside of potentially wiping out your cards. But um, so that aside, let's also talk about how to put this on your phone because it's definitely a very, very tight fit. And when you get it right out of the box, it comes in this whole piece. Actually, you can separate this um, harder plastic from the more rubberized plastic piece. And I didn't really find this out until a little later. So initially when I put it on, I just kind of forced my phone into the case, which is totally fine. But the two piece design also means that you are technically supposed to separate the harder plastic part from the rubberized part that way you put on the rubberized part first and then you snap on the plastic harder plastic portion to really complete the fit so and then also once it's on if you really want to take off the case for whatever reason you have to kind of get your fingernails in between the hard plastic and then the rubberized plastic area so you can separate those pieces off and then it's much easier that way to remove and put on the case Overall, I'm very impressed with what the group Vina did to design this case. I think they put in a lot of detail. I really appreciate that down to the curvature of this case to really hide the fact that it's actually double the thickness of the iPhone that it's trying to cover up. But the whole design really flows together. It's just those minor, minor things that I think that I already pointed out that it's really not a deal breaker, but things that could definitely be improved for the next iteration. So for around $17 when I bought it, I think it's a great deal. You guys can go ahead and check the link in the description to find the case that will fit the model of iPhone that you have. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyforce95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyforce95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse, or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyforce95. Thanks for watching.